I'm Aria Brixey, reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing the TV series Star Wars The Acolyte. I really love the TV series Star Wars The Acolyte because it's an action-packed series with a unique and captivating plot that is very different from any other Star Wars films or series. Best of all, although it is helpful to have watched the prior Star Wars films, you do not have to have seen any of them in order to, to enjoy this. This series takes place 100 years before Episode 1 of the Star Wars films. It is a story about a girl named Osha, played by Amanda Stenberg, who is accused of murdering a Jedi Master named Indara, played by Carrie Ann Moss. However, Osha firmly states her innocence because she is apparently loyal to the Jedis. What I really liked about this series are the beautiful settings, the costumes, and the musical composition. The settings include areas with beautiful lush landscapes and other areas in a frozen Iceland. The costumes are very unique as they are in most Star Wars films and series. For example, when the witch's ceremony is held in the third episode, the gold costumes of the woman are stunning. The background music is beautiful and eerie and always fits the scenes perfectly. The, ser the series' message is, we are not defined by what we lose, we are defined by what we survive. This is a direct quote from one of the supporting characters. This highlights the point that Osha is not defined by having lost her family, but having the strength and courage to persevere in spite of it. Beware, this series contains a lot of violent behavior. I give Star Wars The Acolyte 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 12 to 18. The first two episodes of Star Wars The Acolyte will be released on Disney Plus starting June 4, 2024. The remaining episodes of the 8 episode series will be released weekly after that. I'm Aria Brixey reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about coming films. Thank you. Bye.